Welcome back to the Professor's Lab. I'm Professor V, and this is round four, the finals, the final round of the Die Hard League tournament that took place on June 15th, 2023. For those of you that don't know, Die Hard League takes place every Thursday starting at 6 p.m. Central at Die Hard Games. More info in the description. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for, the, for notifications, put your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to he hear from you, and all that other good stuff. But anyways, let's get into the game. Alright, so we have, I think it's a Lost Zone Charizard, Lost Zone Charizard on the left, versus uh, the Oin Cologne, I believe, on the right. Did we lead with, oh, Gardevoir, I think, Radiant Gardevoir. Anyways, uh, on the left-hand side, Battle VIP Pass. You can only play that card on the first turn, on your first turn. Um, and if you do, you draw, uh, or you, you search your deck for two basic Pokemon, put them on your bench. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, we'll go ahead and look for those um, Comfes, the Cramorants. It depends on whatever else is in your hand, too, um, which Pokemon you decide to grab. Um, but yeah, that looks like just a fine setup to me. You gotta get all shuffled up here. Um, you could also look through your deck and see what you got when you search the first time. But anyways, flower selecting. Get rid of a beautiful Comfey. Keep a, a switch cart. Um, that's good. Switching between the Comfeys is very important. Uh, let's see. We played a switch cart. I didn't quite see that one. Um, get rid of a nest ball, find a heavy ball, a heavy ball, look through your prizes and grab one basic Pokemon you find there. <laughs> there were three, you could see them flat, he had to show his opponent that. Uh, you grab the Charizard, I think, because that's the only one of those that you have in there with the, the good old Radiant rule. Um, shuffle your prizes, uh, shuffle the heavy ball back into your prizes and lay them all out, no need to tap, we're all good here. Alright, we are flipping. It, it, it's a Pokemon catcher. Bring up the Cramorant. Flipped heads. Uh, we are playing Ultra Ball, it must be. Get rid of Cheryl and a V-Guard Energy. Uh, the, the most beautiful one. And we find another Lechonk. We're going to play our A Lechonk, first one of, of this game. Uh, we are going to play Nest Ball. Uh, find another Lechonk. Uh, different art. They're both... Um, Reverse Hollow though, so very nice, and I like the Gardevoir mat with the Radiant Gardevoir, shiny. Anyways, perfect research, perfect. Attach Gift Energy, perfect research. Draw seven, uh, put another Lechonk down, now we're, now we're getting set up here. This is turn one too, right? So this is very good, a lot, a lot better than the last game if I do say so. Uh, we're going to play a Path of the Peak, I think, and then pass. Can't quite see, you gotta love that glare. Got to work on that. Uh, anyone uh, have any comments uh, or any uh, suggestions for reducing glare, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I use a, um, a tripod uh, that's sitting off the, to the end of the table, and then I raise it up and try to lower it to, to get rid of the, um, the glare. But anyways, back into the game. Course experiment. Get rid of Nest Ball and Fog Crystal. Now we got the Magic 4. Uh, in the Lost Zone, uh, keep the other three cards, and our hand is building. Uh, nice, I already see a Charizard and a Fire Energy for late game. We're going to play Escape Rope, uh, bring up another Comfe. Uh, Lechonk with Energy comes up, interesting. Uh, do another Flower Selecting, uh, get rid of Be or the first one of this turn, must be the second one. Anyways, uh, get rid of Beach Court. Uh, now we have five in the Lost Zone. Um good there's another there's more switch cards in the hand so uh cramorant will be able to attack this turn uh, we really want cramorant to take out a lechonk um so that way a prize can be taken i think the gardevoir soaks up the hit oh we're gonna bench the radiant charizard on the left and attach an energy uh switch cart switch into the uh, cramorant and knock out the lechonk with the gift energy resolve gift, gift energy to drop to seven then promote a pokemon Draw a card, Lost City, Evolve into uh, Lech... Oh, I keep calling them uh, Lechonk. Now we got Oinklone. We, we evolved into Oinklone. We attach an energy, and we're going to play Crushing Hammer. Ooh, punished. Punished for putting that Charizard energy down. Uh, potentially a little bit too soon. 
uh, but we'll see. Um, you're not guaranteed a heads on a crushing hammer, I guess. Uh, Silene, uh, flip two coins for each heads. Put a card from your discard back on top of your deck, I believe. So it looks like Pat for the Peak went back on top, uh, the League one, the one for the League. And now we are going to attack with the Oin Cologne for 100 damage. Man, <laughs> I feel so bad to not take the KO, uh, with especially with only 10 uh, HP remaining on that Cramorant. But that's okay, that, that's a lot of pressure. That, that Cramorant's barely hanging in there, uh, for lack of better words. Anyways, we're going to take a look through our loss zone, take account, uh, take inventory of our resources, and play a chorus experiment. Draw five cards. Keep three of them. Lost zone two. Easy choice with the VIP pass. Maybe not so much with the escape rope, but that's why you keep those other three there. Way more important than those two, apparently. Let's see what we got. We got another Cramorant attack um, lined up already, but... It feels bad because Oinkalone's known to play heavy uh, Sharon count. Sharon lets you uh, pick up a normal type Pokemon and all cards attached to it, put it in your hand. So it'll just heal essentially all of that damage, uh, the 110 damage. And it was like you didn't have a turn, like the lost player didn't have a turn. Um, but I guess you are forcing the um, the Chonk player to have it. You know, they have to have the, the Sharon, but I would bet... If I was a betting man, which I am, I would bet the uh, the player has the the Lechonk player has the Sharon. Anyways, let's play the Escape Rope. Let's resolve that. I'm guessing Radiant Gardevoir is coming up here. I don't think you want to get rid of a Lechonk, but hey, here we go. Get, uh, yeah, he's thinking about it. Yep, yeah, you don't want to get rid of it. I don't think. Uh, so anyways, Gardevoir comes up, Flower Selecting um, from the active Comfey. Get rid of that Manaphy. We don't need that in that matchup. Attach, in this matchup, Attach Energy, Retreat, and Attack for 110. All right, you can't use uh, Sharon on Radiant Gardevoir. So uh, draw and pass on the Lechonk side. That's what it looks like. It looks like play is resumed on now the Lost player's side. Um, yeah, that kind of stinks. Anyways, uh, Nest Ball. Nest Ball, go ahead and just keep setting those Pokemon out and uh, setting them up and thinning your deck. Uh, we're going to find a Sableye. I don't think we're in uh, Lost Mine, uh, Sableye's attack range. You need 10 in the Lost Zone to do that attack. I don't think we're quite there uh, yet, but um, you might as well get it out and get it ready. Get it, out of, get it out of the deck, thin the deck, have it ready on the bench. Um... And we attach an energy, psychic energy to it. You gotta watch out for those hammers, especially if you're not attacking with it this turn. But um, hammers gotta flip heads. Oh, maybe we are in a lost mine range. Course experiment. Maybe this does it. Uh, easy discard uh, or easy lost zone of the battle VIP pass. And uh, what else? We're gonna get rid of the fog crystal because we already have a psychic Pokemon and psychic energy we need. Um, let's count. Uh, should have been counting there, but we must have it. So put damage counters to knock out the Gardevoir and the, the knock out the uh, Lechonk. And some even left over for uh, the big boy on Cologne. Or big girl. Um, so yes, uh, counter stadium. Put that path to the peak in play. Shut off that uh, Radiant Charizard ability. Uh, we're not quite in range for it yet, but we're going to take the KO on the Sableye. So it's... Oink alone versus the lost world of Lost Zone Park. Anyways, who do we promote here? It's probably a Comfey uh, to keep the the engine going, keep lost zoning things and drawing cards, uh, even though we're past the threshold. But anyways, uh, flower selecting. Ooh, I see a chorus and something else, and we're contemplating a bit here of what to get rid of, so that something else must be pretty good. Uh, I didn't quite see what it was. It almost looked like a Luminion V, uh, but I can't quite tell. It's definitely a Pokemon. Oh, it's that Pidgey, Pidgeot V. Get rid of Chorus. Play, or Lost Zone Chorus. Play Clara. Clara's going to get back Sableye and Psychic and Fire Energy. Bench the Sableye, attach the um, Psychic Energy. Oh, we're going to hit that Echoing Horn to take some more prizes uh, with Lost Mine. Sableye's Lost Mine. Bring back that Lechonk from the discard, put it on the bench, uh, switch cart 
into the Sableye. KO the Lechonk and put the rest of the damage on the active Oinkalone. And now it's up to Oinkalone again versus the, the Lost World of the Lost Park. Let's see, Professor's Research, get rid of some resources, but we get to throw it away and start fresh. Sometimes you gotta throw it all away. Alright, we got a Nest Ball on the right uh, Oinkalone side, so that's good. Attach a V-Guard Energy. Ooh, he doesn't find a... Oh, he doesn't play Nest Ball, uh, because the same thing could just happen. Sableye can come up and knock out whatever goes on the bench, so forcing... Um, the uh, Lost Zone player to, to have it and take out that Oink alone. Promotes uh, Comfey. And let's take a look at what's in the Lost Hand in order to decide the best thing to do next. Flower Selecting. We are going to get rid of a Stone, Forest Seal Stone. That's interesting. Maybe there's one in hand already. We had the Pidgeot, so ooh, whatever it was, uh, uh, aside from the Stone, it had to be something important. Um, we're going to attach a fire energy to that Charizard. Switch cart into the Cramorant and put some more pressure on. Still not quite enough. So much damage on that Oinkalone. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so let's see what Oinkalone, Oinkalone's got. Um, there's some Nest Balls in hand. I could find more Pokemon, but you are kind of scared of that Sableye. And the Oinkalone player just... Sees um, not much more hope there and concedes with the fist bump. So yeah, that's going to wrap up our tournament on, uh, what day was that? On S June 15th. That was a pretty good one, uh, right? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But otherwise, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time in the Professor's Lab.